helped to get reviews and subscribers on YouTube, his real-time traffic. And that's because not of putting out new content, but because of putting out videos that rank in search. What one minute is creating videos that get views and subscribers while you sleep? As we know, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world right now. If you do it the right way with the right strategies, it can bring you lots of traffic. You've got the views and you've got the traffic. This is easy to understand, but how to do it? What I'm talking about in this video is how to grow fast on YouTube when you're just getting started from scratch, and how to come up with video ideas that get views. I've been implementing this for a while now, testing this process, and if I put out my real-time analytics on my channel, I start born. In the last 48 hours, I got over thousands of views. In the last 60 minutes, you can see this video's got views almost every minute. As a small YouTube channel with only about 600 subscribers, 9 videos uploaded, 1 video a week, and it got about 60,000 views and 500 subscribers in the past 28 days. How to get the results? Keep watching. You don't want to miss the tips that I'm going to share with you in this video today. You can also use a YouTube analyzing tool called TubeBuddy to check out this data of my YouTube channel if you want to. I'll put the download link in the description section below. You can use the free version of TubeBuddy and it's already powerful enough for you to begin with. Just sign it up with the free version down below and you are good to go. How to get more views and subscribers on YouTube when you are just starting out? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing the best tips to grow and the biggest mistake that are going to hold you back from getting more views and subscribers on YouTube. Absolutely, I know, it could be frustrating putting energy into a YouTube video, uploading it online, and then it just doesn't generate many views. It feels like you're wasting your time. And I can totally relate to your feelings. Since I've begun my YouTube channel uh, this year, I know this hustling and creating content on YouTube, like editing them, spending all the time on them, and then uploading them online to not actually get the results I was expecting for, but just hearing crickets. But there was also a major pivot in my YouTube channel when I used some strategies that helped me come up with the exact video ideas that people actually want to watch and that will actually get views. And now I've studied and learned from a couple of different YouTube channels, uh, over 100,000 subscribers, and of course, tons of small YouTube channels, and I learned from their journey. And I think about what do I wish I knew back when I was studying, uh, that could have helped me and other small YouTube channels grow faster. And I've got a pivot for exactly how to do this to get more views on YouTube. And I'm going to talk about the strategy of exactly how to do this. So if you're ready to come up with the right video ideas that are gonna get massive views, then let's jump right into this video. Right now, there's never been a better time to be creating content on YouTube because of this special timing in this pandemic. Uh, we've seen that YouTube's viewership is skyrocketing. In fact, they say that Nielsen is revealed consumption is up over 75%. Uh, this time last year, there were about 15 billion minutes consumed. Now it's about 32 billion in some industries or some niches. It's about 35%, as you can see from this Bloomberg article. Subscriber surging has been happening as well due to the fact that people tend to or have to stay home longer. No matter what industry you come from, consumers come soon, creators create, leaders lead, right? So right now is your best time to be an online creator. With that being said, it's time to overcome fear, put your perfectionism aside, and press record. And I'm here to show you how to go faster, especially with the strategy in this video, in just a second. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. In fact, 65% of people use YouTube to help them solve a problem. So who do you serve, and what problem do you solve? Listen, if people are going to YouTube to solve a problem, then the best way to get discovered is solve a problem and answer a specific question. 
You might be wondering how do I get discovered? Nobody knows me yet. How do I get subscribers if no one even knows I exist? Solve a problem and answer a specific question. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is the only content you will ever make. Maybe you would say, I just want to uh, entertain and inspire, but some of the topics that I want to talk about, they are not search based. Okay, that's fine, but you should start with search based content because once you have subscribers, you can talk about whatever you want. Because they're here now, they know you, but how do you actually get someone to know, like, and trust you if they don't even know you yet, right? How do you actually get discovered? So, 65% of people use YouTube to help them solve a problem, research, before you record. This is one of the primary reasons people fail to get views on YouTube. So, listen, the biggest mistake that's going to hold you back from getting more views and subscribers here on YouTube when starting is making content that nobody wants to watch and that nobody is searching for. And here's what it is. Random acts of content. Random acts of content is not gonna build your channel, your brand, your business, or help you grow. Yeah, this is what most people do and that's why 99.9% .9 people fail on YouTube. No plan, no strategy, you shoot a video out this way, shoot something over here, shoot something over there without being focused on a specific topic. What's the purpose? How do we research? How do we get clarity? So before you ever press record on that camera research, you want to define the purpose so that your energy is well spent. You want it to actually be worthwhile, don't you? If you can tell the audience why they should subscribe to your YouTube channel because of how it will benefit them, then it's hard to get subscribers. You might even do great one-off video, but there's no reason for people to subscribe to the channel. They just like the one-off video. So you got to get a clear vision and make content that people want to watch and that people are searching for. So what if we could discover the exact video ideas our target audience is interested in watching? That would be valuable. Before you press record, figure it out. Like, what is it that people want to see that could grow your channel or business, right? And so, what we can do is go to the YouTube search bar. If you have your smartphone, you can do this right now and follow along. It's been and it's even better if you are on a desktop computer and you can go to the search bar and you could type into something like how to that's a great place to start I believe people watching this video have a lot of information to teach people how to do something uh, it could be how to work out how to create something how to cook or it could be also like how to get out of debt when you type that into the search bar Boom! All of these predictions pop up. Have you ever seen this before? It's called auto-predict. And this, it happens on Google as well. And here's the cool thing. Those predictions are the exact search phrases that real humans are typing into the YouTube search bar. If you're wondering why it's so hard to get subscribers while your videos are not getting views, well, are you actually making content that you've done the research you know people are interested in. If you do it the right way with the right strategies, it can bring you lots of traffic. I don't want to overwhelm you with those numbers and fancy YouTube analytic tools now. I'll just outro the most important thing. I've tried my best to put it as simple and clear for you and I hope one takeaway so far here can make your life easier. Furthermore, be patient. Great things take time. Great things take work. A lot of work you know there are a whole learning curve to do this we probably cannot get to the top in just one step right with that being said one thing that can help you go for the faster and show them your learning curve is by looking at somebody else and by investing in wisdom and maybe you uh, you are also familiar with this scene like me uh, I wasted a whole year doing this wrong I wasted three years without getting this information. So you gotta invest the time. 
invest yourself to shorten your learning curve and you are getting value, hit the like button. Shorten your learning curve and you will get to where you want faster. What's the point to shorten your learning curve? Don't go alone. Get connected to a community of people, other purpose-driven entrepreneurs like you that are purpose-driven creators, uh, purpose-driven people that want to build their influence and income online. So find a great community to shorten your learning curve and you will get to where you want faster. And if you're wondering how to shorten your learning curve in 2020, consider subscribing. If you are like me, you will assume the rest of the world revolves around you. Every now and then, I'll have my head out of stand to try to text out of what's going on outside of my world. And here's another great community for you if you can speak Mandarin Chinese like me. Little Bo Tan is one of my favorite YouTube channels that talks about how to grow faster on YouTube. And she just began her YouTube channel last year in 2019 and got over 250,000 subscriptions in 10 months. If you want to know how she break through 100,000 subscriptions in only 10 weeks and how she earned more than $9,000 in YouTube revenue in the first month, check out the description section. There should be a link after free YouTube training course for you to find out uh, when you are watching this video. And hey, if this is your first time here, welcome! Eric here with Astarphone.com and on this channel, we do a lot of tips and strategies to help you find the best ideas for creating content for building your influence online, as well as strategy videos just like this one. So whether you want to grow your YouTube channel or your business online, this is for you. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. I will walk you through the following steps to get more views on YouTube in the next video. And thank you for being a part of the journey. With that being said, which YouTube tip channel and course do you recommend? Leave a comment below and let me know. I'm more than happy to check it out. I'm Eric. Thanks for being here again and hope to see you in the next video.